Uh, hi, welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our video today, we're going to focus on questions that have to do with similarity and congruence. So now, I extracted some questions from past papers, and those are the ones that we are going to resolve. Let's take a ride. So now, this question was actually extracted from 2019 paper two. The question reads, in the diagram below, triangles A, B, E, A, A is here, B is here, E, so that's the smaller triangle, and A, C, D are similar. Given that, BC is equal to 5 centimeters and CD is equal to, this is 9 centimeters. Then BE is equal to 6 centimeters. Calculate the length of AB, this, this one here. So now when you're dealing with similar shapes, what you need to do is you start with those sides on the smaller shape or smaller figure and then you relate them to those sides of the bigger figure or the larger figure so what you do is you you you, you take note of those sides that are corresponding to each other so be corresponds to cd and that is equal to we now we you always have to start if you start with a smaller shape always start with the side on the smaller shape so a b corresponds to a c so now we can plug in the values b e is a six and then c d is a nine which is equal to a a b is a no and because we don't know the value of that that side we simply write x to denote that we don't know the side then from here a through to b through b to c you're adding the lengths of this dimension here and the length of this side from that is BC. So that side has been named as X. So we're gonna say X plus five make up SC. So now when we reach this stage, especially when you 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 happen to land in a scenario where you happen to have two fractions separated by an equal sign what you do is you simply cross multiply so this six will be multiplied by x plus five and the nine will be multiplied by x so let me write this one here that is six times x plus five which is equal to nine times x so now six times x that will give us six x plus 6 times 5, that's the 30, which equates to 9 times x, that will give us 9x. So from here, what you need to do is you collect the like terms. So you have to bring in the additive inverse of 6x, that is minus 6x. So what you do this side is what you do even on the other side. You subtract 6x. So 6x minus 6x, that gives us a 0. And that will leave us with a 30. And 9x minus 6x, that will give us 3x. At this point, we can now get rid of the 3 by multiplying it by its multiplicative inverse, which is 1 over 3. But in most cases, we simply say you divide the 3 both sides. But uh, all you know, this is what is supposed to be done if you have to do the correct math. So these three 
and that three will cancel one times x that will give us x so a three there one a three there one a three there zero so we're going to have a 10 this side so we know that uh, x therefore is equal to 10. now remember the side that we had actually labeled to be x is a b so we can say therefore a b is equal to 10 centimeters so we're done with that one let's move on to the next problem So we have this one which was extracted from 2016 paper 2 and the problem reads in the diagram below triangles L, M, N and so triangles L, M, N and L, P, Q so this is the smaller triangle L, P, Q are similar given that L, P is equal to six centimeters, then PM is equal to three centimeters, PQ is equal to four centimeters, and NQ is equal to two centimeters. Calculate the length of LQ. So I want you to determine LQ, which is this side here. So what you do is pick on those sides which have been given in full. So we have this side here, that is LP. That is the side of a smaller triangle. It corresponds to, to this side, which is LM. LM. So LP, LP corresponds to LM, which is equal to. Then what you do next here is... Uh, you now focus on this side that the one sheet to determine so now this one is making up a side of the smaller triangle so we're going to say lq corresponds to this same side that is that will now be ln ln okay so lp we now plug in the values so lp is six over lm lm it will be six plus three so it's, it's it's the distance from l to m so we are adding the distance uh, of lp to the distance of pm so that's a nine which is equal to <laughs> this one is not known so lq is not known so we're going to write x the over then ln ln will be x plus two so that is x plus two we can now cross multiply it says six times x plus two is equal to nine times x that will give us nine x we can now expand the brackets here six times x that is six x plus 6 times 2, that gives us a 12, which is equal to 9x. So since we have that, we have all those in place, what we now have is a linear equation in one unknown variable. So we need to collect the like terms in one place. So this one has to be moved outside, but how do you do that? You bring in the additive inverse of this one. So since it's a positive, Gonna say minus six x, and what we do this side is what we do even on the other side, minus six x. So this one will give us a zero, and we're going to remain with a twelve, which is equal to nine x minus six x. That gives us three x. So now we can get rid of a three here. Let me write this here. We have a twelve is equal to. 3x. Let's say 3 there, 3 there. So a 3 and a 3 will cancel. And we're going to have x 
beside, then 3 into 12, that gives us a 4. So we're going to say x is equal to, for we check the units here, centimeters. Okay, so now, are we going to say therefore, therefore, LQ is equal to 4 centimeters. And uh, we are good to go. We are good to go. Good to go. That's what we did. So if you've liked the video, don't forget to like, smash the subscribe button, and don't forget to share.